Good morning everyone, Spazzy Dragon here, aka Syndromes. It's a Tuesday morning at 8, and uh, currently sitting at the office. I do not have internet because of some stupid reason. Like, I, I don't really care anymore. Like, this has been happening for like quite a long time now. It's getting, like... It's, it's already past the moment of annoying, but, you know, whatever. Uh, in any case, I don't really have any reason not to record a video today, so it might as well be Dwarf Fortress. Um, again, I'm really sorry that I couldn't make these episodes as consistent as I really want them to be. I kind of agreed on releasing one every two days, but uh, sadly that wasn't something that I was able to do. And um, yeah, I just remembered where we stopped off. Look, look, look at this mess. Like, holy shit. Oh, this is not a nice place. No siree. Oh, hello. What is this? Uh, Samuel Samuels has given birth to a boy. Congratulations. And an elven caravan has arrived. <laughs> Oh boy, well this is gonna be interesting. Anyway, how many weapons do we have actually? We have a Warhammer, 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 a... Uh, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six Warhammers. It means that we need six military dwarfs. Uh, before we go to <clears throat> uh, greet our guests. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are going to start... Uh, first of all, let's quickly make a note of the people we don't want to recruit, which are highly valuable to the economy, uh, like economic well-being of the fortress. And um, so that's going to be Loki. Uh, Loki is someone we don't want to uh, record, uh, recruit, I mean, uh, Abdaf, um, Rick Ross, obviously. Actually, it looks like we will actually need to make a list of the people who we can recruit, so that's going to be probably easier. Uh, so Havoc is our new military commander, so that's a good thing. So Havoc is our military Commander. Uh, Chrono is a traitor, but uh, sadly she's not actually our traitor. That uh, that particular tri title is actually uh, with Sauron. So Chrono is going to be the first one. Uh, remember, we need six dwarfs because we have currently six Warhammers. So that's uh, Chrono is going to be one of them. Um, Ace is also going to be in. <laughs> Because we lost you one time, we might as well lose you another time. Uh, Panzer is obviously going to be there. For obvious reasons. And uh, after that we have... Uh, John Wilkins II. It was a adequate thresher, but we don't actually need that particular skill that much. So John... Uh, we are going to just piss off the poor elves at some point. They're just going to just come in there and kick our asses. But I think it's going to be funny. So John Wilkins is our next in line. Um, James Reed, a newcomer. Uh, looks like you are a... You are a competent armor smith, actually. That's kind of cool, because we don't actually have a... We don't actually have someone who's um, proficient in armorsmithing. Uh, the freelancers are metal guy, but if you can do the armorsmithing better, you might as well do it instead of him. So, Skorak, uh, what do you have? You had no actual traits apart from being a novice woodcrafter, which we actually have a few people who are better at it. So, uh, Skorak, you are up. You have been drafted, my boy. 
And after that, we have Snake, who's our expedition leader. That's our noble, so we're not going to touch him. Uh, Peregrine, oh, you are actually highly skilled at all of the crafting, so I'm actually going to keep you around inside the fortress. I'm not going to let you out of my sight for now. Ghost Radical, um, you are a competent brewer, actually, and you are currently one of the best brewers we have, so I'm inclined to, you know, not let you go outside, so we're gonna keep you away from the army for now. Uh, Swallow, uh, Swallow 2 came back as a talented miner, or actually I don't remember, I think he actually came back as a normal, but I assigned him as a miner when we wanted to dig out that particular section of the fortress and he kind of leveled up a little bit. Um, he is actually a skilled wound dresser, so there's a chance that we might as well uh, have Swallow here as our um, medical dwarf at some point. Uh, he's also a good cheese maker and over here, oh he's a high master weaver, that's actually good. So we're going to disable weaving for the rest of the dwarfs and uh, leave him as the only one with that particular profession because we, we just we just want to have the best people doing at the assigned jobs. So uh, next up in line we have Radian and uh, I don't think Radian had anything outstanding so Radian is probably going to be yeah we're just going to assign Radian as our sixth and final military dwarf. Right! Now it's time to actually assign this little um, escapade of people. So, um, let's go. Uh, first of all, Chrono. Where are you, Jess? There you are. Uh, after Chrono, you have Ace Rosgris, because, you know, we killed you once, we might as well kill you. Ah, I just noticed. Um, I'll have to actually... Um, ah, no, it's just shortening the name like that. You actually are the second. It's just shortening the name stupidly. Uh, then you have Panzer and uh, John Wilkins. There you are. And uh, Skorak, where are you? Skorak, dude, where are you? Ah, there you are. And Radian. Where are you, Radian? There you are. Nice. There we go. So uh, now we actually have all of these dwarves nice and ready for it. <laughs> nice and ready to kick some poor elven asses. Uh, funny thing. Oh wow. This time the the elven guys actually brought a much larger amount of stuff. That's actually interesting. Okay, so these guys just picked up their equipment automatically, but that's not what we want, actually. Uh, we are going to assign them uh, a specific uh, specific equipment. So we're going to go to our military tab, uh, select our guys and go to equipment. Uh, right, so first of all, I want you to take, um, where is it, shift W for weapon, and I want you to take a specific weapon, and you are going to take a bronze warhammer. There we go. Um, uh, Chrono is actually already wielding her copper warhammer, so that's a good thing. Ace Rosgris also took a Warhammer, that's really nice. Same as Panzer. Um, John Wilkins, I do not want you to take a individual ranged weapon. I actually want you to take a specific weapon and you are going to take one of the Warhammers again. Uh, Skorak, you are the same thing. I really, I'm really glad you like your ranged weapons, but uh, I want you to have a uh, Warhammer instead. And uh, Radian, same problem, also ranged. Yeah, it looks like we're out of Warhammer, so you're just gonna 
need to take this sword instead. Um, that's a wooden sword. That's one of the swords we nicked off from the last Elven Caravan, actually. And uh, let's just wait for these guys to pick up their weapons real quick. There they go. And uh, I see one Warhammer left. So someone's not picking up their equipment, so who is it? Uh, equipment, bronze Warhammer, um, Warhammer, 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 Warhammer. Set a war okay, so if we have one Warhammer left, why is it that... Well, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, that's really nice of you guys to visit us, but uh, we kind of want your stuff, so... Lol, let's just be assholes. So, squads, A, move, over here, all of you. Move out, dwarf squad. Look at you guys, all... Oh, someone's already not liking the sunlight, that's Korak. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, if the dwarves uh, just keep inside, like, undergrounds for too long, the moment they step inside, they get no uh, they get nauseated. Anyway, um, you guys are going to attack from a list a elf merchant, the other elf merchant, this elf merchant, and that elf merchant. So, kill all the elves! Be heroes! Kill all the elves! And... Well, this is gonna be fun. Allah Akbar! Get fucked! Uh, someone's just standing there. What the hell is wrong with you? Skorak is just standing there inside of a pile of vomit. Like, vomit. And that, that guy is not going to survive. Yep, there we go. Hey, assholes, you missed one. Uh, kill this guy, please. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. He has all the stuff. No. What are you doing? Boo, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All your stuff are belong to us. What the hell is wrong with you, Skorak? What the hell, dude? What's going on? Reports. Um, Skorak, Skorak, what is wrong with you? He's just sitting there. Uh Elf Mergent is fighting. <laughs> I like how our guys just bash these poor little elves in the face with their war hammers. Anyway, uh, that means that you guys can relax a little bit, and now I need you guys to like carry all of the stuff like over there. So now all of our guys are actually going to be moving all of our stuff, like, inside. Though that actually does remind me, I really want this to be a thing, but I think that we need to move our refuse stockpile outside, but maybe not now. Uh, probably a good idea, but maybe not exactly now. So yeah, that's actually going to take a while. I'm not even sure that we have enough room for this. There is a fair amount of stuff being hauled around. What is over there? Oh, we never actually did... Uh, yeah, that actually does remind me. We need to finish um, constructing this little... Uh, <laughs> our new... Uh, dining room, so, you know, people have somewhere to sit, otherwise they're gonna be complaining they're just standing around like a bunch of tossers all day. 
But um, now we need all of this stuff to be hauled back into our fortress now, so... That's gonna take a while. So what do we have? Uh, those are gloves. Okay. Oh, and obviously we need to recover all the stuff from these guys. There we go. And those are mangled corpses because we fucked them up with warhammers. It means that these cannot be, um, you know, un like undeaded. So that's a good thing. Uh, also this guy. Um, if you kill someone, all of the stuff on them is by default forbidden, so that uh, the civilian dwarfs don't just rush in and try to take everything. That's actually a good thing. So we're just going to unforbid all of that. And uh, now it's just going to take a while for all of the stuff to get hauled in. Uh, I suppose it would be a good idea to block, like, unblock this exit, so, you know, they don't have to run all of the way over here, but, uh, you know, safety first. It's actually better to have only one entrance to the fort, uh, to the fortress active at all times. You know, just in case. Uh, how is there one? Oh, people are not happy, like, uh, some of them are probably in the sun for too long, and, yeah, people are not happy. Oh, and Nosferath is actually still still doing those uh, tables and chairs, which is a good thing. It means that we can actually uh, deck out that little dining room of ours soon. Oh, these guys are not helping because they are currently doing their... Um, their uh, individual exercises, so I'm actually going to... Qu uh, I, I just freed up this room so these guys can actually... You know, start moving around and uh, helping with all the stuff that we currently have going on. Because uh, right now, most of our fortress is outside, so that's not a good thing. We kind of need everyone to be on board. Oh, okay. So, T-I-Q. There we go. Now they should fuck off. Yeah, there we go. Um, that was uh, Banzer and... Come on, Chrono, John. I need you out there hauling the stuff. Oh, free room. There we go. Yes. That's the right command. Free room. Now go haul all of that precious, precious loot. We're going to run out of room soon, aren't we? We probably need to start assigning those tables over here so that uh, we quickly can move those out of the way. Um, how do we want to do this again? Like, there's a center, so... This is going to be the main, and then we have all of the other tables like this. And uh, we want a door. So obviously we want a door. Why wouldn't we want a door? I like how we have this bucket just sitting there. Like, for hours now. Like, for days. For years. For lulz. Oh, like, there's still stuff to haul over there. Oh wow, that's probably a lot of stuff. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. Holy shit, those are a lot. Like, wow, that's that that's a lot of stuff to be hauled. Well, it I kind of makes sense. We just fuck fucked up a caravan, so you know, lol, free stuff. But we actually need to take the while and take our time to move all of it underground now. At least we kind of know... Um, funny thing, it, look, it doesn't look like we're, we're currently at war with the elves, so that's a good thing.
you know, as the fortress grows, we probably will need to start recording these episodes on my large PC. Otherwise, I don't think my laptop can handle. We're currently running at 30 frames per second. And, uh, now let's just say that it's kind of slow. It, it's, it's a lot slower than what we started with, anyway. Hmm. I just know we, all, we, we only have like a hundred drinks. That's not really, really a lot. What's what's up with these random bits of... like? I, I get it, those are worn clothes. And... Oh wow, that's a lot of just... That's just a lot of uh, worn clothes just right there. Someone's running around naked. I'll probably see that later. So what do we have? Um, You can sort of see how everyone was getting tired of their old clothes because you get uh, worn clothes being like dropped off into their rooms. It it would really be kind of disastrous if we had a um, necromancer attack us right now. You know, it's, I, I really suppose at some point we actually need to go through all of this and forbid all of the stupid thing. Okay, uh, we don't need a puzzle box. Uh, okay, a bow is good, peaches is good. Wooden, piccolo, fuck that, clay, no. Um, figurines, clay, uh, splints, puzzle box, amulets. Uh, those are like crafted goods, we don't really need them. Grown bitter. I don't I want. Oh, there we go. Uh, spear is good. Clay is kind of good, but unneeded right now. Uh, bow is good. Fire clay, no. Puzzle box, fuck that. Grown peach wood. Short sword, crutch, we don't need that. Ashen ring, no. Clay. Shield, cage. Oh, that's actually. Fuck that. We don't need that. Puzzle box, um, bucklers, clay, more clay, just look at, look at these elves just hauling around dirt, lol. Uh, we might need a chest later. Um, piccolo, scepter, toy boat, crutch, crown, buckler, more loam, flute, uh, maple shield greaves splints uh, spears more clay that we don't need crutch that we don't need puzzle box that we definitely do not need I mean I can sell all of this stuff later but come on grown coconut palm amulet uh, palm chest fuck that more clay uh, wood cage, that's something we'll need for all our traps later. Um, buck, uh, buckler is uh, something we do need. Uh, high boot, whatever. <sighs> we probably don't want, like, wooden armor. Although it's better than having no armor. Piccolo. Gauntlets. Yeah, we'll, we will we'll have to go through all of this later. Greaves. Puzzle box we don't need, low boots we don't need. There we go. I've designated all the shit we actually don't want, so they are not going to waste their time hauling it into the fort. So that's a good thing. Although, yeah, we will 
Oh, wow. We definitely need to go through this real quick. Let's do this real quick, though. Uh, what do we have? Um, what What is this? Uh, badminton, fuck it. Uh, toy boat, fuck that. Splint, fuck that. Arrows are good. Lead cage. Um, harp, no, no, no. Chests are good. Those are worn clothes. Fiber sock, shoe. Like, all of these clothes are degraded. Um, silk rope, left mitten, fiber bag, silk, uh, barrels, tunics. Anything that with an X next to it means that those are kind of really worn clothes, you know, slightly degraded. And no one's going to wear them if they have better ones. Uh, splint, um, crown, cage, bucket. We have buckets. Figurine, um, left glove, more bucket, more chests, toy boats that we don't need, uh, splints, trousers, oh wow, that's... Uh, what is that? Like, that's a huge amount of... Fuck it, okay, dump everything. Not the bag, though. <laughs> we actually need the bag. Uh, harp, fuck the harp. Hoods, socks. Oh, this one's new, actually. Iron piccolo. Uh, we can melt that. We're gonna sign it as melt. We don't need this crutch. Uh, old tunic, that's a new. Um, sock, cap. Fungi wood barrel splint that we don't need earring that we don't need splint 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 we will need splints at that time but splints are easy to make so I, I'd rather not have them clutter up this place so yeah we're currently doing just some inventory management I I suppose I could do this off screen but shoes shoes um earrings. All of these are highly degraded, so we don't need these. Crunch. There's just so much shit in this pile, holy. Okay, let's wait for a, for a bit until like everyone like moves all of this shit out of the way real fast. Otherwise we're running out of room. Like, even if we didn't mark everything to be moved, uh, we might run out. Do I have some? I think I do. Okay. I'm gonna make some more coffee. <coughs> because I don't think one cup did it. There we go, we're gonna free that up a little bit. We have so many cages, we might as well set up a few traps um, around the place. Gonna make things a tad easier. So 
What are you doing over there? Yep, people are still hauling things, but it's okay. They might as well, like, haul useful things than not useful things. <laughs> I love how there's just a pile of vomit, just, just... It's just a road of green. There we go, we free this up a little bit, so that's a good thing. So as everyone, oh, people are not happy. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, um, you're gonna stop doing the easy meals, and now you're going to do the lavish meals. Yeah, there we go. Because that's going to make us some much more profitable things at the same time. Okay, you know what? Stop. Stop, stop. Okay, okay. I just noticed that everyone is doing their planting thing. So we kind of want to stop that for now. Because we want to get all of that shit moved, and we need everyone to be on point. I do love how, ma how much dogs we have, though. So, um, puppy, 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 puppy. We're gonna move all of the puppies out from there. And at the same time, we're going to move all of the grown dogs into here. We will probably, like, uh, this slowdown is probably due to all of the dogs, though. So I think we'll need to probably do something about it. Um, we could butcher all of those dogs for meat, and that's going to give our guys a lot of, uh, you know, stuff to make the uh, meals from. That's always a good thing. Yeah, we'll probably need to... Well, either that or we just put them in the Atom Smasher and just make a huge dog pie. Lol. That does remind me, where did I put the lever for this thing? Oh. Oh, it's over there. It's right over there. I, yeah, I'm gonna say that the game is slowing down because of these guys, so sadly we will need to quickly get rid of uh, a few of them at least. Not all of them, but maybe. Let's just see how many we have there. Holy shit, that's a lot. Yeah, we're gonna leave that many Also, we kind of want to have a double door over here so they don't actually get out. Yeah, I'm really sorry guys. Uh, I kind of know you don't want to see puppies die, but uh, they're lagging the game like crazy. Now I just need to pull the lever when no dwarf is present in the room otherwise. Lol. Okay, and uh, now for the gruesome part. Pull lever! And hope that no- OH! Cancel. 
<laughs> that's cool. That's low key <laughs> bringing another dog. And uh yeah. Okay. Apparently not all of the dogs were present. Lol. That would have have uh ended really badly. That would have ended with us uh, losing a lot of dwarfs. Okay, is everyone done? Pasture stray dog. Uh, okay, someone's still bringing someone in. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, and hopefully after we pull the lever, the game's gonna speed up a little bit. Okay, oh, no, uh, Loki's still bringing something in. Or someone, rather. Uh, I just want to actually make sure that, um, keep tightly closed so pets cannot go through these doors. It's kind of important. Is someone going to pass through that thing? Or are you? Ah. There you are. Ah, oh, that actually does remind me. Um, this is going to be our new <laughs> dining room. Lol. And now we need a lot of chairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh. All the chairs, boys! There we go. And that also means that uh, we can make, make this a meeting hall, and now we can go back, back to this area, and um, this is not going to be a meeting area anymore, and hopefully people can stop complaining about the lack of chairs. So that's going to be a thing. Um, also, we kind of want to brew a drink now, otherwise we're kind of going to... And brew a drink from fruit. That also is going to be a thing. Alright, is everyone present? Construct building and... No, someone's still pastoring something. Okay, screw it. Let's do this now, otherwise it's still lagging like dicks. Um, forbid. And double forbid it, just in case. And now that no one's inside the room, we're gonna pull the lever! Rip. And we can now unforbid that. There we go. Uh, stop. Okay, now you can go in. We almost lost someone. Almost. Well, that solves our dog issue. But that doesn't solve our crowdedness issue. Actually, we're probably going to butcher all of this bullshit. Actually, what do we have over here? Like, uh, animals. Um, peregrine falcon is not tame. Okay, just slaughter it. Oracle, whatever. Flying screw, lol. Magpie. Hedgehog, okay. Stray raccoon, lol. White stork, moth, opossum. Straight giant goat, giant koala. Huh. 
<laughs> Just kill all the things! Ooh. I must say we didn't actually do a lot in this episode. But, uh... Hopefully things are going to be a little bit easier to do. We got enough drinks, so that's good. Uh, I hope we will able... Like, at some point, I hope that we will be able to fix this shit, but... Mm, We don't have enough chairs. We don't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We don't have eighteen chairs, so manager so, sorry. Uh manager uh Q work rock uh chair oh sorry throne and sixteen. There we go. Construct 16. Construct 16 of the meanest machines. So, yeah, everyone's kind of not too happy right now, so hopefully by the time we finish, finally finish this, <laughs> this dining room, uh, everyone's gonna be a little bit better. Uh, and it's about time we end this episode so I can make some coffee. And hopefully my internet comes back soon, otherwise I won't be able to upload this thing. Uh, one thing that I'm going to do off screen though is probably just go through all of these things and uh, designate, you know, things to throw out. And actually does, that does remind me, I'll need to, um, Doran Baby, the uh, child, there we go. So that's a child, that's a child. And we're currently copped out at 28, so uh, depending on how many people will uh, still need to be added, I just need to <sighs> um, raise the cap limit a little bit. All these guys just need to be dumped. So yeah, might as well just put a cut here now. Yeah, okay. So far so good, we're slowly recovering from the stupidity of our actions, lol. Slowly. Okay, let's put a cut here and uh... Uh, maybe later today I'll make another, uh, another episode, just in case. Anyway, Spazzy Dragon here, Gay Syndromes, and fly safe.